Good day world, it's Innovate. Welcome to Bar Science. Um, haven't done a Bar Science in a while. I used to always do them um, during my battles. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna do this one for y'all. But this Bar Science is gonna be, first we're gonna talk about um, how to start off a battle, how to, um, how to approach a battle, how to study your opponent, two different ways to study your opponent. Then we're gonna talk about the difference between a metaphor and a scheme and how they are both built and also a haymaker. The difference between a metaphor and a scheme, even though a metaphor and a scheme can be a haymaker, but a haymaker can be just slick talk. That's not a metaphor or a scheme. And we're also gonna go through some examples of metaphors and schemes from um, a battle that I did online. Okay, so first, I'm gonna give my approach. There's a main approach, and then there's an approach that I take and that I think that um, if you have the ability to do this, you can take this approach. The way I approach a battle is when I approach it, um, the way I break down an opponent is there's two ways to do it. The main way is to find out their weaknesses and then find out what they don't do and try to insinuate and try to implement the things that they don't do into your round. Like um, if they don't have energy, you got to use more energy. Um, if they don't rebuttal, you might want to rebuttal. If they don't, you know, you know, um, if they don't, if they, if they punch a lot but don't scheme, you know, you might want to remind them of that. You might want to point out their weaknesses. You might want to extenuate their weaknesses in a way that you, you implement their weaknesses in, into your round by actually doing what they don't do, or you pointing out what they don't do and you breaking them down like you how simple their style is. That's a tactic. A lot of most battle rappers take that tactic. You rap like this and you don't do this and you do. And, and then, but at the same time, they're they're actually doing what they don't do at the same time. That's one way. That's the main way to take it. And there's a way you can practice. Do what I do is is um, I I I I insinuate their best qualities. I try to I try to implement. I try to outdo what they are good at. I say what what's their best trait? What's their main weapon? And I and I I I, I study it, and I innovate it. That's where I get the name innovate from. And I I innovate their main trait, and, and I make it better. I make my round better than their main trait. Like um like when I battle Cino um. I kind of messed up a little on that, but um, I, cause I studied, but I made that a little too intricate. But Sino's main trait was like um, was just was just was just you know connecting nature to life, being kind of esoteric. But I kind of overdid it to it was hard. I was kind of relate to elements of life, so I I kind of studied him in a way, and I made a mistake because I'm studying the person that people don't know, so that really didn't matter. So when I insinuated his talent, it was like you know you just sound like a more complicated him. Like it's just harder to understand you, but y'all, y'all, it's about a draw battle. That's how that's how scientific I was with that. But I just sounded like a more complicated him. But both uh, the, my content was dry. But against QP, that my strategy. But I still learned from the Cino battle. I learned what not to do. You always learn when you when you try to do better than what you're facing. You know, even in war, man, it's almost like in chess, man. You find out the um. You you find out the weaknesses in the person position when you play in chess, and you find out and you and you counter their strength. You find out their strong pieces. You take their strong pieces off the board. You block their strong pieces. So you're attacking them from two facets of the game. You're attacking their weak pieces, and and you're attacking their strength. And you're mindful of it. You're not just listening. Like, are they better than me? No, you are listening. Like, what don't he do? Like, what he don't what don't he do that other people do? What didn't he do that his opponent did in battles that people said he lost? What did he do that his opponent didn't do in battles that people said he won? If you got the ability to study what they, if, if, if you got a strong pen, you can study what they good at and you can beat them at what they good at and it'll it'll craft your round in a way that it makes it indirectly personal to them to where the people will feel it. Like like your style, like like you're, 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 you're subliminally, subconsciously personal to them because you attack, because you built your round from a from a um from attacking the core of their ability, you you attacking their strong point. Then you're talking about them. You're doing other ways to study, but that's two ways to study around. The main way is you got to study your opponent's weakness, know what they're weak at, and if you have the ability to implement what they don't do, if you have the wherewithal to know, like okay, they don't do certain things that's popular in battle rap, and you can learn by. It's not copying people, but it's actually how the culture is really supposed to evolve. It's how to evolve. You know, you find out what you need to adapt. You know, the, the body becomes better according to the forces of nature against it. You become better over the elements. So you got to know the elements of the person that you're battling, and you become better than you evolve. Yeah. Now, let's talk about... um. Now this is this is a lot of people know this, but there's sensitive things about this that um 
when like like some people just write a rap and they just write it like I massively blast the rap at these rappers bow to your majesty I'm classically active half of these rappers need extra batteries actually whack them sees passively challenge me I'll ban this team from the block put a tag on the cabbage for half a G basically I'm not a man my face is a hologram stage there's a plotted graft of nuclear sites that can be traced without a map my tooth is a spike full of juice with a slight boost of hallucinogens that'll make you see twos from a bite I'm, I'm, I'm going to the store with you know Oh, that that was dope. Oh, rapidly rap. Oh, he can rap, but that's that's not that's not gonna beat no, a, a pure. That's not gonna get you to the next level in battle rap. That's just that's just a good rap. But I didn't tie I didn't tie one metaphor to the end of those syllables. So I'm just I'm just rapping. And then I'm just going into the next rap. That's not battle rap. That's not even how you should think. You should you should you can block your back you, when you write your battle rap. It should be like a building. And you're building it up and you're making different chunks of material. So when you got a rhyme pattern, then you tie a metaphor to it. Or if you got a metaphor, you build up a rhyme pattern to it. That's one thing special about a metaphor over a scheme. A scheme is kind of built from the top down because you got to come up with all these different things to talk about. Candy bars, Milky Way, um, Snickers, um, um, smoke. and then you tie this. But the end of the scheme ends up being a metaphor, but... It doesn't have to be because it can just, it's a haymaker in a sense, but it doesn't have to be a metaphor, but it can just tie everything the scheme is talking about. So a scheme is built in the middle. You just can't write a scheme, but, but a scheme can be built within the rhyme pattern. So the rhyme pattern comes kind of, it's secondary within the scheme. It's actually third. It's actually the, the scheme is actually the correlation between different things that have one thing in common, like different names of dis, dis detergent, different names of deodorant, different names of sports teams different correlation of different things that have one thing in common and you tying it into a metaphor against your opponent because you're comparing it to your opponent. You, you, you contrasting it against your opponent or either yourself and then you're using a haymaker to tie that scheme together. So a scheme uses a hate scheme uses a scheme which you use all the elements of the scheme it uses a metaphor which you correlating it to either your opponent or to yourself and the scheme uses a haymaker because it ties everything together at the end which it doesn't necessarily have to be a metaphor. So a scheme is the hardest thing to do because it has all three elements in it. But you see what I was saying in the beginning is it's, it's still a partaking of each element. It's still a metaphor. It's still a it's, it's putting all of those strong points into one thing. That's what makes Chilla Jones so strong. That's what makes Daylight so strong. That's what makes Loaded Lux, Loaded Schemes, Loaded Whole Round to have, have, have one thing to do. Mook Schemes. Mook punches light, but Mook don't get credit for how he schemes and everything in this round to be talking about. Mook schemes, he just don't get credit for it. Chilla Jones is the author of scheming. If he had a better image, he would, I think Chilla Jones, Danger Zone, them type of, those are schemers. To where they know how to just grab things and just grab things. Like I had a scheme in my Gates of the Garden battle. I was like, um, I was like, around me, not even a dove is harmed. I'm the right guard. You better act somebody when the gun is drawn. Basically, all I'm saying is I will put you under arms. I was like, I protect the pit. I protect the pit. I, I look behind me like, I protect the pit. Around me, not even a dove is harmed. Dove, I'm the right guard. You better act somebody when the gun is drawn. So all of those things are deodorant, you know? I protect the pit. Not around me, a dove is harmed. Right guard acts and then i tie it together because basically i will put you under arms but put you under arms all together isn't a joke or a metaphor that's not but it it, it tied the scheme together and i was and i was applying the scheme to my opponent and the so the metaphor of the scheme was the correlation between the elements of the scheme and my opponent and i tied it together and, the, and the tying it together is the haymaker so a scheme is a scheme a, 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 a punch and a haymaker a punch doesn't isn't necessarily a scheme. A punch, you can be just talking about random things, but you kind of scheme the last. You can scheme the last two bars of the punch, or you can punch at the end of a scheme. But a punch doesn't have to be a scheme. You can just say something and just. But a, but you should always either scheme, punch, or have some type of slick thing you say at the end of your bar. That way you can put your bar in blocks, and and then and then you and then you learn how to transition between those bars, or you learn how to write it in a battle rap format to where you writing. Cause you, cause you, 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 you don't have a song that people are gonna listen to over and over and learn to like it. 
you're writing because they're listening to the music. They don't have the music to keep them in tune. They don't have the four count of the music to keep them in tune when they're listening to your battle. They don't have the music notes to be like one, two, three, four, then the music change, then the music change. That's keeping them interested in what you're saying. So when you battle rap, you gotta rap like 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 it's like, like it's a music note, like it's a music composition also. You gotta have the, you gotta do your cadence. You gotta have that four bar setup and you change it like a music note because that does something to the it keeps the mind it it, it keeps the mind attentive when you change the ideal every four bars, every eight bars. You don't just rap a long soliloquy to someone. So, so that's the difference between a scheme and a metaphor. A metaphor, now metaphors, schemes are hard to write. Let's look at a scheme. I got an example of a scheme in here. I should have, I know I got an example. I know I did a scheme in this one. Because this was just something I was practicing with. And uh, what kind of scheme did I do in this? Um, let me see. What kind of scheme did I do here? Is this it? You getting even, um, I can't remember. I'm right, but okay, no, that's not it. Let me see. I was saying, okay, okay, so I did a little small candy bar scheme. I was really practicing this battle, but I said, I will send you to Mars, just snicker, and I'll let the cannon pop, and I'll let the cannon pop. My guns come with a Kit Kat, and even though it jams a lot, you can still die from these three musketeers. Basically, you spit candy bars. Now, in the in the real battle, I would take that, and I, would, I, I said, I wrote that overnight. And I had a battle the next day. I just wrote that overnight. But that's that's a chunk. That's that's how you work. So um, I I just came up with. I just felt like saying, I came up with something. Snickers. Somehow I came up with um jams a lot. And I was like jams a lot. Cannon pop. And I was like three musketeer. I was like send you to Mars. So I said I took the Mars bar. I so so I know okay I I know the I'm gonna tie everything together saying basically you spit candy bars, and and it's just a small example. Basically you spit candy bars. So then I just, I mean, I could have come up, I, I can come up with every candy bar I want to think of. And I'll say, okay, I'll send you to Mars. Just snicker, it'll let the cannon pop. My guns come with a kit. Cat, and even though it jams a lot, you can still die from these three musketeer. Basically, you spit candy bars. So the Mars, the snicker, the Kit Kat, the three musketeer is the, it, are the elements of the scheme. <clears throat> It's a metaphor because I'm I'm correlating those things to my opponent, and the and the haymaker or everything that ties it together is basically you spit candy bars. That's a bad scheme because that's not a strong enough haymaker. But that was good enough for what I was doing. But you get what I'm saying. Now with a metaphor, there's two ways to build a metaphor. Sometimes I come up when I when I write my rhymes. I we most most top tier rappers that rap on that level that understand what I'm saying, they're not gonna tell you or maybe they can't even relate what they're doing. <clears throat> But we sit there and we just come up with different jokes. We might go through our day. We might sit home and write. But during our day, we outside just thinking of jokes and looking at life and thinking of metaphors and stuff. We outside looking at stuff. I'm, I'm watching TV like, wow, at the avatar, they got to twist their hair to connect. Like, I'm connected. I'm twisted in hair like an avatar. So that's, so that's the metaphor. So the metaphor starts off with the joke. That's the joke. I'm connected and I'm twisted in hair like an avatar. So then I just build up from there and I say, okay, let me build up from there and I'll start at the top. These not your average bars. My pen and pad is art. Catch a scar. Pay a ratchet harlot to snatch his heart. I'm connected. So I, so what I do is I want to build, so a metaphor is like a, a metaphor is a scheme, but it's usually two things. I don't know if people notice this, but a metaphor, usually you just rap, usually just take rock or say da-da-da, 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 then he'll say something and tie the metaphor to it. Some people have built the metaphor in the first two bars and then and then and then and then and then tie the compound to the metaphor in the last two bars. When I build up, so as I'm built, when I it's fun starting from the top and building down, but you gotta tie that into your metaphor. So I gotta tie. I'm connected and I'm twisted in hair like an avatar with 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 my with with the with the rhyme padding of, um, like an avatar avatar. So I say these not your average bars. My pen is pad is art. So I, so I was just I was just playing with the words at first just to get there, just building it up. That's not even a good build up, but you can do that. You just plan with the words. Usually you want to build it up to where it makes sense with the metaphor. That's when it really lands, when people be like, oh, this is just a small build up. These are not your average bars. My pen and pad is art. Catch a scar. Cat, pay a ratchet harlot to snatch his heart. So I'm, so I'm connected. So I'm so I tied in, I'm connected with like I paid somebody. I can pay people to do this to you. I'm connected. 
and, and, and what I did to you is twisted, so I'm connected, and I'm twisted in hair like an avatar. That's, that's how you build it. Let's do another one. Um, let me see. Let's do another metaphor. One that's good. Or oh, I might have to go into my other stuff. Let me see. Okay, I had, okay, sometimes you can, like, I just, I just was like, man, I, I mean, Wagner, no, I, no, I came up, I came up with a slick word. I was like, I will Donald Trump is chicken, patter twat. And it was an overnight battle, but I'm just giving examples. I'm showing you how to build down. So now I just came up with a rhyme scheme. Okay, I want to rhyme with patter twat. I don't want to keep saying, let me find another one. I don't like that example. But when I, when I built down, I said, I'm savage. I, whether you mad or not. I will call static shot with this hammer. Call me Ragnarok. So with, so I just had to think of a joke with that rhyme scheme. So I got this rhyme scheme. I got this, I got this um savage op. I'm savage op. I want to rhyme with savage op. What rhymes with and I just sit there until I think of a joke that rhymes with savage op, man. You take your time. You might even have to put that to the side. But you know, like I'm still trying to think of a metaphor that rhymes with savage op. I don't want to keep saying the first line. And I said, oh, Ragnarok, let me see. Okay, how can I turn Ragnarok into a joke? I will cause a static shock with this hammer. Just call me, I, I look up Ragnarok, I see you got the static hammer. Okay, I will cause a static shock with this hammer. Just call me, so you got to study. You, you, you looking at words, like, okay, let me look this, let me look. You studying stuff, and then you building that, you building it. Then I say, okay, I got that metaphor, let me go to the next one. To where they end up looking like that. To, to where they end up in building blocks. See how I got a phrase between each one? Between each one, there's a building block. Each one is just a building block of thought. You just don't run through the whole thing. Those are just different metaphors that I got saved in the phone, just waiting for battles. You don't, and I'm just looking through them. You don't just run through the whole thing. Um, so yeah, so that's so. But a haymaker, I'm, I mean, I mean, a haymaker is, is is is. If you can't think of a metaphor or a joke, you know, think of if if you could think of something slick to say that people would be like, oh, then you could you could drop the haymaker like that. Um, Okay, so since I put y'all through that, I'm going to give y'all a special. Since I put y'all through that bar sign, I hope I still got this. I might not still have this. I might. I was going to let y'all hear this um, flow that I have, but I don't have it. It's in my email. Shit, I'm not going to do that. But that was the bar signs for the day. I just wanted that to be 20 minutes. So we studied. We went over We went over um, how to approach a battle, how to two ways to approach a battle. Um, study your opponent's weakness and their strength. And um, if you have the ability... Try to try to outdo them in their strengths at some part in your round, and that's actually how you build your round. That's that's actually like some material that you have because you're gonna you're gonna point out their weaknesses. So that's a part of your material. You're gonna um you're gonna implement things they don't do if you if you find or if you if you see things that you can um discern. That's a and then you're gonna find their strength and you're gonna say I'm gonna do this better than them on this little part. I'm gonna. You know, some rappers do that in a way to where they mock the opponent, you know, and they'll, but when they mock you, they'll, they'll, they'll rap better than you when they're doing it sometimes. Some, some people have done that. That's, some people can tap into that. But, um, yeah, I, let me see. Let me look at some of these. I speak the strangest language. Every word is a trap, like a page of mazes. I'm not the, I'm, I'm going to say some of these bars and I'm going to explain to you how I came up with them. Before I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to push this to 20 minutes. I speak the strangest language. Every word is a trap, like a page of mazes. I'm not the one these lames should play with. Dip bullets in blood when I spray the banger. I be the, I be putting DNA in the clip. I'm raising Canaan. Oh, I should have saved that one for this battle, but I used that in another battle. That was a good example, and that's on that example I built up. I was, I was watching the DNA. That's what I'm saying. You just be watching stuff. You just got to always be alert. That's why I, when I hear people say I'm finished writing and they got like two weeks for the battle, I'm like, yeah, they don't understand the science. They don't really understand battle rap because that's impossible to me. Even, even if I got my, even if I got my, I don't even start writing my, I, I know like I need about a week to just, I, I need like two days to put all this together. I can write in two days, but I don't write, I don't do that until like two weeks or a week and a half before. The whole time before that, I'm just building it. I'm just writing down ideas. I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm writing constantly when I got time. I don't just find one block of time and be like, nah, when I got time, when I'm driving, when I'm walking, even if I'm busy, even if I'm playing with, with the nieces and nephews, even if I'm with my friends, I'll be like, oh, let me put this in my phone. Oh, you just gave me a bar. Let me write that down. And I'm building my whole round on you through, through just ordinary life. It ain't even that much stress. You don't even got to put that much stress on yourself in the moment. You, you gotta, if you got the time, you got prep time, you can build like that to where you build your round, man. Um, I never, bro. I I can't. Um, 
I can't imagine just writing and just being like I'm finished. And that's it. Um, when I'm writing, like I was watching DNA talking about his raising Cain and how he got his movie. And I was like, oh, I, I'm going to put DNA in the clip. I'm like, oh, so if I put his blood on the bullet, then I'm, if I put the bullet, if I put bullet on, if I put his blood on my bullet and like mark him with my bullet, then I'm put, first I'm like, I'm going to write his name on the bullet. And I'm like, that ain't DNA. Okay, I dipped the bullet in blood. I built it up. I'm like, so I'm putting DNA in the clip. I'm raising Canaan. I was like, okay, so I got to dip bullets in blood when I spray the banger. And I'm like, okay, so that was the bottom of the metaphor. And then so I'm like, let me, let me build the top of the metaphor. And the top of the metaphor just starts off just, just just building up the um rhyme pattern at the met of the metaphor finding the most complicated way to build a rhyme pattern that the metaphor rhymes with so the metaphor is raising Canaan so I say some people that just do Canaan I'm a, I'm a rhyme Canaan and Canaan and aiming and 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 the, and the banger and and I and I slaying and and I, and I came in now nah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do raising Canaan I'm gonna do both syllables raising Canaan I speak the strangest language every word is a trap it's like a page of mazes not one of these, so, you know, you building it up with little small punches. You build it up with little small punches that rhyme with the major punch. I speak the strangest language. Every word is a trap. It's like a page of mazes. That was just a little small, little trap. I speak a strange language. My words are a trap. It's like a page of mazes. N not one of, and, and then, and, and then not, and then not, between that, I got the transition between the main, between the main punch. I speak the strangest language. Every word is a trap, like a page of mazes. Not, not, I'm not the one these lames should play with. Then I go and dip bullets in blood when I spray the banger. I be putting DNA in the clip. I'm raising Canaan. And when you build it like that, it's, then you just say it. I speak the strangest language. Every word is a trap. It's like a page of mazes. I'm not the one these lames should play with. Dip bullets in blood when I spray the banger. I be putting DNA in the clip. I'm raising Canaan. Crazy. Let's do another one. That was nice. That was, I should have saved that one though. I should have said that one. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that one on no um random battle. But I respect that was on BA channel, so I respect BA. So I gave I gave, really gave him my big battle. I got I mean I gave him a good round. Let's see what this one is. See, I messed up. Now here's an example of a bad bat of a bad round. Um Okay, I just stretched it too long, you know. No, that's that's not a good example. This is a good example of, of just having a haymaker that's not a metaphor or a punch. I might, I'm, this might be a half hour if I go through all these. You can die for sure. I, I think, so So let me go over it and I'll tell you how I came up with it. You can die for sure. I brought terror. Dog's errors can end up with dog buried. His coffin heavy and I'm still litting shots air at his paw bearers. His coffin heavy and I'm still litting shots. That doesn't make sense. You can die for sure. I brought terror. Dog's errors can end up with dog bearers, can end up with dog berry, his coffin heavy, and I'm still litting shots air at his paw bearers. That don't make no sense. I don't believe I said, these not your average, I don't believe I said that one. What did I mean when I said that? His, his dog's errors can end up with dog berry, his coffin heavy, and I'm still litting shots air at his paw bearers. I just went at that. I, that was a bad metaphor. I guess I was trying to say his coffin is heavy, and I'm, cause I'm, cause I'm picking off his paw bearers. That was a terrible scheme. Don't do that. Let's look at another one. Um, that's a terrible one. So these are some terrible examples. I don't even think I used all of these. These are terrible examples. So this was just a. I will say some more. I would have to go through my last round for some good examples. But I think I think we got the thing. I think we had fun in this one. Let's let's do it. Um, I wanna let's go through one of this one. That's I'll go, I'll take y'all through one of this battle I got coming up. I'll give y'all a. No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna end the bar side because this next battle is I don't wanna this one. I gotta win this one. But so that we got we know the difference between a metaphor, a scheme, and a punch. Now a scheme can be a movie scheme too. Like um, so a scheme can be just tying different elements of a movie into something too. So I'll give y'all an example of one of my best, one of my favorite schemes I've ever written, and one of my best punches I've ever said. Um, it's gonna I, I punch a lot, but I mean this is one of my best schemes. Um, let me see, I still remember this one I battled Rio and Kosi. I said um, let me see, let me see. Wow, I just forgot it. How was that my best scheme? Wow, it just, I just went blank on that too. I had that. It was a matrix scheme against I had against Rio. 
it was terrible, but I went totally blank on that. What did I say in that scheme? Okay, so I'll give y'all an example of one of my favorite schemes. Let me see. Um, I said, I said, you, I said, you're not the savior. I said, I say, well, I say, no, I said, you're not the flavor. You in the way. No, I said, you're not the savior. You in the way. And you're not the flavor. You got a loose screw in the brain thinking you're not in danger. What, what you spewing is basic. I see you as an agent, a doppelganger of other puny replacements. And now you're in the matrix. And I'm the one, duly estated, but you're the snake that tried to pull the plug just to chew on the steak. What'd it do for your taste? If you thought you had awakened, you made a brutal mistake and forgot this shoot is a tank. Even though, meta, and, and that, you know, Matrix bars are kind of played out, but that was a complicated m Matrix bar. You, you're not the savior. You, wait, um, how I start? I got something, you in the way, and you're not the savior. You got a loose screw in the brain when you thinking you're not in danger. See how I build up from the metaphor? I just started off starting off the rhyme scheme. Then I build, even with a scheme, you just start off, first bar, starting the rhyme scheme off, you lead into it, thinking you're not in danger. What you spewing is basic. Then I go into the scheme. I see you as an agent, a doppelganger, because the agent's another puny replacement. And now you're in the matrix, and I'm the one. Neo, duly estated, and you're the snake that tried to pull the plug just to chew on a steak. That's the dude that tried to pull a plug, and he was like, oh, this steak is good. What'd it do for your taste? If you thought you had awakened, because he awoke, you made a brutal mistake and forgot this shoot is a tank, because tank is the one that shot him. That was one of the most complicated schemes, metaphors, major schemes ever, bro. Um, that was crazy. So that's a that's a good example of a scheme, and and and, and you should just you know take if you can't do it, say hey I didn't do it. I mean if I mean man, sometimes I'll have about a month and a half to do a battle, and I can come up with two good one of those, and then I come up and then I come up with but I come up with about I come up with punches. I'm good. I'm better with punches. Schemes are tougher. I'm not gonna lie. What Chilla Jones does is very tough. Um, metaphor with with metaphors are tough in the sense that metaphors are only like four bars. So you got to, you, I mean, a round of mine it consists of about 15 metaphors. So Rum Nitty does that. His rounds be like 30 metaphors. I mean, I mean, I mean, his battles be like 30, 60 metaphors. So that's very tough to do, to just make joke after joke after joke. And that, but that's how you get better. You got to apply yourself to get better at it. You got to try it to actually get better at doing it. Um... I just put a funny, I'm, um, I just put a funny, but I'm, I'm not going to say no more of the battle that I wrote. But I'm going to end this bar sign. Um, Y'all check out the battle, Innovate versus Loso BX, a Dep HNIC channel, January 26th. See y'all there, man. Peace.